Hey guys, it is me, Happy Sarah Ken. Welcome to Last on Earth Survival. Today's topic is very simple. Is Last on Earth Survival the best mobile game out there? I've played this game for uh, a bit over six years, and I don't think I ever made a topic like that. I don't think I've ever spoken about Last on Earth today. It's the best mobile survival game out there because maybe it is actually the best mobile survival game out there. And I know it's not perfect. I know that I, like, sometimes we clown around. I say that I may be... Uh, it's a game for gods made by gods, obviously. I'm being sarcastic, and it does have some issues. But do you have any better mobile survival games out there? Do you play anything better than Last on Earth Survival? I'm not claiming that it is the best game. I'm just, like, asking you guys. Do you think it is the best game? Because obviously there is Minecraft, right? It's ported to mobile as well, but I don't think it actually counts. And there are plenty better survival games than uh, Last on Earth Survival on PC or in consoles. But if we're talking about mobile survival games... I think Last on Earth is definitely in the conversation, at least. It's definitely in the top, as I've played a lot of mobile survival games. I've played a lot of survival games, and Last on Earth Survival is a very nice mobile survival game. Even though it's not perfect, I wish we were getting more updates. Last, like That's the only thing that I want to have in this game, is I want it to be a bit more active. I want to see the roadmap. I want to see some sort of new updates. I want to see all of the things that we were promised. To, to see in the game we still don't have the helicopter i want to have the helicopter i want to have bunker charlie and on the map we have a lot of other locations we still don't have the submarine we do not have the trolley we do not have the oil rig we do not have the oil pump or whatever that thing is also called we do not have the suburbs there are a lot of locations that we still do not have there are still lots of game modes that we don't have in the settlement so maybe one day we will get all of that stuff Time for us to take off the clown mask and <laughs> whatever, but I do hope that one day we will get all of those things. We can only hope. But all of that stuff aside, ladies and gents, let's drop the wood stuff here. And let's probably go to the settlement real quick. Let's try to fire up a couple of those other workbenches because I haven't done that in a while. And if we do any raids today, which I should, I want to get some more iron because I only have like 15 iron left. That's not a lot of iron at all. So I want to get more. And once we get more iron... Uh, life should be a bit better. Okay, let's dip out of here. Let's go now to the settlement. Welcome to all those that have just joined the stream. Welcome, welcome, everybody. I'm glad to see all of you here. Welcome, welcome. Hello, hello. Hopefully you're having a great day. And if you're watching this live stream after it's over, then head to the pinned comments down below. There you can find timestamps and you can navigate to your favorite parts of the live stream a bit quicker. And we are going to navigate to our favorite part of Last and Earth Survival, which is the settlement. Said no one ever, sadly. Like, the settlement should have been such a perfect thing. And again, I am going to complain about it. Because the settlement should have been such an amazing addition to the game. When they added the settlement, it was, like, one of the biggest updates in the game. Because, like, we've gotten literally the second base. They could have, like, went wild here. Like, it could have been ridiculous. There were so many ways to make this amazing. That it was actually harder to screw up this place than make it good. And they still kind of managed to make it bad. I, I don't know how. It takes talent, ladies and gentlemen. It takes talent. To, to, to screw up the second base in last and right well. People wanted the second base for a very long time. And that's what we got. And again, they have added cool things. Like, we've gotten this minivan. Everything's great. But the... <sighs> expeditions are expeditions. And that's about it. It's also very grindy. And it's useless. That's the biggest issue. That it's kind of useless. If it was at least useful, then it could have been better. In any case, let's now get some more iron billets. I finally got my drone upgrade station. Very nice. Congrats on your drone upgrade station. That is sick. Can you please teach me the wall trick? Uh, you just move and that's it. Keep practicing. Nobody can teach a wall trick but yourself. Try to keep practicing. LDOE Happy Psych Wall Trick. Type that on YouTube. And uh, watch and try to repeat that. And keep practicing and you will be able to do it. Hopefully. I believe in you. Keep doing it. I believe in you. And hey, welcome to all those that have just joined. I'm glad to see you all over here. Welcome, welcome. What are you getting ash for, says Stefan? I literally didn't get any ash blanks right now. And uh, I'm going to repeat that again for the thousandth time. You can upgrade your racks with the ash blanks. You need 40 ash blanks to upgrade one of these racks. And you will be able to store more items. You'll be able to store 25 items instead of 20. And it goes all the way up to 70. And then that's how we can store 70 items in one cell. So hopefully that answers the question. And do we have any more ash blanks? Wait, we do actually. Okay. So, ladies and gents, let's add that stuff over here and let's upgrade, like, whatever rack. So, I don't even know what rack I want to upgrade. My trash rack? I kind of don't want to upgrade my trash rack because I have trash in it. 
I have upgraded the food rack, so that's all right. I've upgraded this rack to max. This rack is already at max level. This one is at max level. This one isn't at max level, but it's not full either, so I do not want to upgrade it. We could upgrade... Hmm... This one isn't full either. Okay, so I need to be wise. Let's upgrade the gun rack, ladies and gentlemen. Let's upgrade this rack to higher level. No, I'm kidding. We're not going to do it because I'm not going to be able to stack guns anyways. So that's sad. I really do not know what other rack to upgrade here. Like, I want to upgrade a lot of things. I'm just not really sure which rack I should start focusing on. Maybe let's just wait. I'll upgrade it later. Yeah, probably that's what I should do. I should upgrade something. Or maybe, you know what? I'm going to just keep upgrading this rack. There we go. It's already at level 7. Let's upgrade to level 8. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. We did it. We've upgraded it, and I'll be able to store now even more items. That's it. We did it, and my head no longer hurts. I do not like storing too much ash planks at the base. That way, yeah, my head doesn't hurt. I spent them, and that's it. I'm currently working on the best mods on the drone, the VSS mod. It costs... 30 coils. Very nice. Congrats on your VSS mods. Congrats on everything you're going to do there with the drone. I wish I had more drones. Uh, more mods for the drones. The drone is expensive. The mods are expensive. It doesn't make much sense. I wish it was also better. I'm downloading this again, says Lemon Crazy. Good luck. And again, I'm not saying, guys, that this is like, oh, it is the best survival game. It is the best mobile survival game. Because as I said, there are plenty better survival games on PC. It's not even comparable. Right? There are a lot of better survival games on PC. That blow last and earth out of the water. That it, like, it's not even a close comparison. But on mobile? I don't really know if we have any other bunch of other mobile uh, survival games. The, the one that's coming out. I forgot the title of that thing. Wait, I'm going to check it out right now. We've played it quite recently. What is the game? There was like Undone. It's like Undone, but it's not Undone. It is... Uh, One's Human, right? One's Human is going to be coming out soon-ish. Maybe that one is going to be huge. Probably. There are some other cool survival games. I'm not claiming that LDB is the best mobile survival game. If you want multiplayer, then Frostborn is obviously going to be better. But hey... Wait, I have gotten a bunch of hatches to do a raid, but I do not have a raid to do. So maybe let's talk to the raiders. And let's see what tasks I can do. Three bulls, the blind one. Okay, so these tasks should be very easy. We're going to do a raid very soon then. But before I do it, I need to go and get some ash planks. Because why wouldn't I get ash planks? I'm downloading. It's the best game ever. Guys, I'm not saying that it's the best game ever. The title has a question mark. So I'm asking you. Do you guys think it's the best game ever on mobile? The best survival game in mobile. And if you have a better one, then let me know which one is it. Because I'd like to check it out. Because I'm not saying that it's the best one. Um, I want to get a ghillie suit. And we're also going to get the fish buff. That way, we'll be able to get more trees. Hell yeah. The game is good, but too much grind. Yeah, I'm, I'm not saying that the game is perfect by no means. Actually, Last Earth Survival is perfect. The game made by gods for gods. Um, It's going to take forever to cook that buff. You know what? Maybe I'm not even going to bother about that. Or maybe I should bother about it. Let's get two mushrooms because I'm going to cook two of those buffs. Wish I could pre-cook more buffs. Wish I could cook like three, five, ten buffs at the same time. The cooking station could be better. You could upgrade that cooking station. There should be ways to upgrade that cooking station. But yet, here we are. Devs paid him well today. I wish the devs paid me, dude. I like literally uh, got. I'd get a tattoo on my forehead. Download last, and I'd get a QR code on my head. I do everything for money. Guys, nobody paid me to say anything. And I didn't say that Last Earth is the best mobile game. I'm just saying that it's maybe in the conversation. Do you know better survive mobile survival games? I'm not the one that's saying it. You guys are saying that it's the best game. So I just repeat it after you like a parrot. Because I don't have my own opinion. Where, is, where are my pants? What happened to my pants? No, that's not funny. 
Um, my pants are actually gone. Nothing, nothing. Okay, I'm gonna be a little bit slower. I have to have ghillie pants somewhere. Oh, there we go. Here they are. I see them, ladies and gentlemen. I saw the ghillie pants. Do you agree 7 days dice 3D last generate? No, because last generate is already 3D. I do not like when people use 3D for third person or first person games. So, no, I do not agree. Now let's cook this. Let's get the buff. I'm gonna get it and I'll start cooking another one for the next time. There we go. 4D. Yes, 4D is a lot better. Yes. 5D. 6D. 7D. 8D. Um, no Project Zomboid says Wonderful Life. Maybe there will be more Project Zomboid. There will be a Project Zomboid video tomorrow, I guess, unless there is a live stream. You know, unless tomorrow we get a helicopter in Last Inert Survival, then maybe there won't be a Project Zomboid video. But if we do not get a helicopter, then I'm going to make a Project Zomboid video. I'm going to release it actually tomorrow because it's already ready. It's like cooking English, English food beans. Just because I cook beans. How do you get glass from the sewers? You can get a decent amount of glass from the sewers. And again, I sat on the chopper. No! Disappointment is measurable. I'm actually going to make a, 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 a poll here asking you guys. Do you think LDOE is the best mobile survival game? Yes, no. That's a just simple yes and no. It's a very simple poll. And you can participate in it. The only reason why I'm doing this poll is because I couldn't come up with a better title. That's about it. It was either another one of those, another day, uh, another disappointment, or another day with no updates, or update status. We don't have new updates. Or this title. I've made videos where Lives on Earth is the perfect game. We don't need new updates, blah, blah. But yeah, in six years, I don't think I ever made a title saying that Lives on Earth is the best mobile survival game. And I'm not saying that it's the best one. It has a question mark. So I'm not claiming that it's the best survival game. There's that. Every time Sykes said that Last Earth is perfect, devs give him a SWAT set. Uh, okay. Interesting. You hear that? We're getting a helicopter tomorrow, says Tim Neal. I wish. I wish we were getting that helicopter tomorrow. Clash is not a survival game. I mean, Clash of Clans is not a survival game. On mobile, definitely. Yeah, yeah, we're talking just about mobile. I'm not talking about PC games. As I said many times, and I'll repeat, I actually didn't say that many times, but today I said that many times, and I'll repeat that again. There are plenty better games, plenty better survival games on PC. Like, Last Earth is not better than a lot of survival games on PC. Like, it's not even comparable. Like, all of the, basically all of the survival games that I've played on PC are better than LDOE. But on mobile, that's a different story. Okay, let's try to get the swamp. Uh, zombies. And let's try to get some more ash trees. It's so bad, but grinding too much and not much new content being out every three months. If we are lucky to get new content every three months. If we are lucky. And I get it, not every game. We're not going to be getting updates all the time. I understand that. It's just it feels like... Last Dinner had so much potential. It could be so huge. It could have been so amazing. Just sad to see that they wasted so many things on the game. It's a very nice concept. It's very playable. It is simple. And yeah, we didn't get much in it, which is kind of weird. It also has... It had actually a nice following even on YouTube. 
It had a nice community. It wasn't like one of those games that people play, but nobody like watches videos or anything about that game. It did have a large community. It had a big community on Discord. People were interested in Last Center. But the devs let it all go. For some whatever reasons, I don't know why. But in any case, it is what it is. Who cares about what this game could have been? Let's just appreciate for what it is. A money grab, Psychrite! I didn't say that. It's not a money grab, isn't it? I know, Nikas. You have Bun Alpha. What else do we want, right? We got Bun Alpha. Okay, now we can go on auto and just gather these ash logs. That's why I split them in the inventory. What do you think is the best survival game ever? Subnautica is up there, says LWE Pro. Also, the best survival game is going to be very, 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 very subjective. Like, there's no way... You can actually find, like, the best survival game. It is very personal. It's very subjective. So if you like one type of games, you're going to like those. Like, somebody will like Seven Days to Die a lot, and that's going to be the best survival game for them. Somebody likes Subnautica. Like, that'll be the best survival game for them. So I don't know. Actually, I wouldn't be able to pick, like, the best survival game out there. Because it would be, like, literally impossible. But Rust is definitely in the conversation. Subnautica is amazing. It has... Uh, it's unique. If you don't know anything about Subnautica, it's... I would almost say magical. But I don't know how much you can replay Arx uh, Subnautica. There are a lot of people that have thousands of hours in Rust, but I don't think there are a lot of people that have thousands of hours in Subnautica. There are definitely some people that have thousands of hours in Subnautica. But, yeah. Have you ever played The Last of Us 2? No, I haven't played The Last of Us 2. Perhaps one day. Perhaps, perhaps. Ark will always be in my heart, says Blizzard. The game was huge and a lot of fun to play. Yep, Ark was also great. A lot of people love Ark. Speaking of Ark, I wanted to make an Ark live stream today. I wanted to do an Ark live stream for a long time. The Ark Survival Ascended. But every time I open the game to see if we've gotten any performance optimizations, like, nothing has changed since, since the release of Ark Survival Ascended, which I'm kind of disappointed. Like, who can play Ark Survival Ascended? I have a decent computer and I still don't even have 60 FPS there. It is ridiculous how unoptimized Ark Survival Ascended is. What is your opinion on movie Interstellar? I've seen it once or twice, maybe it's nice. I mean, everybody who's seen it said that they say that it's the best movie. So, yes, I have to say that it is the best movie. It changed my life. Frost stole 800 hours of my life, or it gave 800 hours to your life. Mm. It enriched your life with 800 hours of great content. Have you watched Dune 2? Nope. That's what everybody's talking about right now. I haven't seen it yet. I haven't watched it. I haven't seen even Dune 1. So there's that. And how many more ash trees can I get? A little bit. Something. Have you seen the movie Life? Nope. Movie Life. What survival category do you enjoy the most? For example, zombie, winter, PvP, etc. Says LDE Pro. I don't mind any categories. I... I like everything. I don't even have a genre of games that I actually like. Li uh, like. I like a lot of things. I like RPG games probably the most. But I also like zombies games that have zombies. I'd probably say then zombie games. Out of all those categories that you mentioned, I'd probably say zombie categories. Fine, if the zombie games are done well.
we have a couple of extra trees. Let's get those and then let's go back to the base. Have you played Left 4 Dead? To, uh, Left 4 Dead. I think I've played it. Maybe I've made a video on it. I do not remember. I'm not sure. You're the Walking Dead fan, right? It's not like I'm a fan. It's not like I have Daryl and Rick posters all over the house. I like The Walking Dead. I'd say that I like it. I wouldn't say that I'm uh, a fan of The Walking Dead. I haven't finished watching it yet. I'm stuck on season 8. And I haven't moved past season 8 because it got very boring. So hopefully I'll continue watching it one day. Like, that's my goal. I want to finish watching The Walking Dead fully. So hopefully I will be able to watch past season 8. But... Yeah, I like it. Regardless where I'm stuck at, I like it. What do you think if Last Earth had bullets instead of guns breaking, says Arvin. <gasps> Almost died here. Uh, wait, I need to reread that comment again because it... I couldn't do the joke. Where is it? Uh, I, I lost the comment. Well, what do you think? I'm going to just improvise. Psych, what do you think about last dinner at guns breaking or having bullets? <gasps> that would be insane if we could have bullets. <gasps> that would be like game changing. Seriously, that would be like the best game ever. Like, like literally, the best game ever. Not just the best survival, mobile survival game. It'll be like the best game ever, period. That's it. Imagine having bullets in last in our survival, guys. That's, that, that's a unique suggestion. Nobody has ever suggested that. Like, nobody suggested having bullets in last in our survival since the first day of the release of the game. I think this probably was the first thing that... That somebody said when they got last in our survival when it came out. Like, we should have bullets. But, hey, it's a... Insane idea. A ridiculous idea. Matt Pat retired before a last in our lore video. That's sad. It might be his people or whatever who took off, takes over the channel. Maybe they'll make the the lore video. Perhaps. Why are you so mean? Says Gobr. How is that mean? I'm just joking. I apologize, Gobr. Please forgive me for, for joking here. Please forgive me. Hopefully you find some kindness in your heart to forgive me for a joke. I'll be mean no matter what. I read the comments, I mean, psych salty. I don't read the comments, I dumb, psych ignore me. It's, it, I can't win. No matter what I do, I can't win. But it is what it is. I don't need to win. Uh, let's fill up the workbenches. I haven't done that yet. sensitive community. Sure, buddy. Sure. In any case, I'm just joking. I have nothing against anybody. Welcome to all those that have just joined the stream. Welcome, welcome. Uh, let's kill three zombie bulls. Let's clear the farm. We haven't cleared the farm in like, what? 20 hours, maybe? Pfft, that's insane. Imagine not clearing the farm in 20 hours. Ridiculous. Recycle the Dragunov. I do not have more Dragunovs to... Do I have more Dragunovs to recycle? Uh, let's check the weapons. Nope, I do not have any more Dragunovs to recycle, but once I get more Dragunovs on level 80 here, I will be able to recycle those Dragunovs. Cool watch, the scout. Thanks. Is the Apple Vision clock too? Yes, it's a clock. It ain't a watch. It's Apple Vision clock too. Um, and that's it. The brain is not braining anymore. Every time I have to get ready somewhere, 
the brain stops braining. Why did I take so many melee weapons? It's as if I'm gonna use them. Who am I lying to? What am I trying to pretend here? Okay, guys, if you want to know how to clear farm efficiently, I can't stress that enough. Make sure to check out everything you need to know about last and our 12 video. Link is down in the description. There will be more videos in that video. And uh, it'll show you how to clear the farm. Or type uh, Happy Cyric uh, Farm. Uh, LW Cyric Farm. And uh, you'll know how to clear the farm efficiently. Because some people are under the impression that if I don't clear farm location or bunker alpha constantly efficiently, that means that's how I always clear it. Or that's how I suggest you to clear it. Mm, I don't think there's anything else I need. I took definitely a bit too many guns, but that's fine. Better more than not enough. Let's get some food and I'm gonna dip out of here. Are there any other guns besides Genesis guns that are uh, objective? Objective against these stupid carrions in the transport up? No, only Genesis guns are effective. I think that's what you meant, effective. <laughs> objective! <laughs> objective, not effective. Okay, guys, that's enough. Stop it. Guys, stop it. Get some help. Get some help. Eyes twitching. Can you see this? I think I'm dying. It kind of twitched more. It does twitch a bit. See this? I think my time is coming, ladies and gents. Stop it. So it's no longer twitching. Nice. Hopefully, you were able to see this because I definitely felt it and uh, you were able to see that as well. Hopefully, maybe. Okay, it's still twitching. Stop it! Let's go to the farm. Take the meds, Cyric. It's fine. I'm off my meds. They can't... It's still twitching! It's hard to see this, but it is twitching, the, this eye here. It's pulsating. Okay. Stop it! Ladies and gentlemen, don't worry, ladies and gents. I'm not gonna die here on the stream. That would be illegal. I'd get banned probably. So I can't die. Local YouTuber dies on stream, says Matthew. That's fine. It's all of that copium. Yep, it's the copium overdose uh, side effects. Yes. OD on copium. Are you okay? Now I'm fine. It's just the left eye is twitching for some reason. It's fine. It's not really twitching, twitching. Just pulsating for some reason. You can die on kicks as far as yep. Should move to kick. At least I'll be able to die peacefully. Look at the savage eye and toes. It has only one toe and... It has only like two fingers. One toe and other fingers. So two, two toes. Yeah. It has only two toes. One big toe and... Another bigger toe. How to change account on blue stack in LDOE? Three question mark. You have to start another instance. Just go uh, blue stacks instance. Google that and you'll learn everything you need to know, homie. Why do you always wear a black shirt? It's a Saturn. Sorry, please don't scream. Be calm. Like, how would you guys answer this comment? What do you mean black shirt? I do not wear a black shirt. It's not a black shirt. It's a sweater. And the shirt is not black. And uh, what's wrong with always wearing a black shirt? Confusion. I'm confused. In Romania, when our eyes pulsating, we make a cross at around the eye goes away. Alright. Never heard of that. Oh, we've gotten the key on our first try. 
So let's get it. So once again, guys, if you want to know how to clear the farm location efficiently, just check out everything you need to know about last in our video. Link is down in the description. It's like, why do you wear a shirt? Exactly. That's a better question. Why do I wear a shirt? Do not get banned on YouTube. If it wasn't that, I'd be naked. Who needs a shirt? Let's deal with the uh, with the Ravager. How much is your setup? I don't know, maybe one, maybe one and a half. It's like one, one and a half of what? I have no idea. Just, just sounding stupid so that I don't give a normal answer. Cause what would I know? Why would I give a normal answer? It makes no sense. It adds nothing to the stream. So why would I give any good right answers? So instead, I'm just gonna say one, one and a half, maybe one point six. Of what? I don't know. My setup was fifty rations and thirty green cards. So spores. Yep, that's about right. My setup was three fully modded spears and one Winchester. The eye is still twitching. Stop it! It's probably the longest twitch. Usually it twitches just for like a couple of seconds and disappears. 1.6 baguettes. Yes. Stop it! It's still twitching. It's like, what's your favorite gun in Last on Earth? I have a lot of favorite guns. You should have asked me what is my not favorite gun. Because everything is a favorite gun at this point. Oh my goodness, you should not have punched me. That was illegal. It's still twitching. One point six burnt eggs. Stop it! I should have never mentioned that I burnt my eggs once. Or twice, or thrice, doesn't matter, maybe a dozen times. Doesn't matter, I should not have said that, I should not have mentioned it. Now those burnt eggs will... Will haunt me to my graveyard. Thanks, guys. Uh, what is the eggs that make your eye twitch? What if that's the eggs that make my eyes twitch? Well, I'll have to continue eating my eggs, I guess. Because what else am I gonna eat? Is the Forlorn Fairy event ever coming back? I have no idea, hopefully. I know as much as you guys. Egg burner. Maybe I need to ask chat GPT. What will chat GPT say? Uh, my eye is twitching, WTF. What do I do? Uh, eye twitching, also known as mycomia, is usually harmless and can be caused by factors as stress fatigue. Oh my goodness, it just gave me an entire par uh, paragraph. Rest, reduce stress, limit caffeine. I don't drink caffeine! Take bre breaks from screen. Okay, that's it. That's enough. I'm not listening to that propaganda. What do you mean reduce screen time? I need to play more last in order to fix it. Yep, that's why I'm playing more LDE to fix my eye twitching. 1.6 boiled pineapples. Yes. Wait, I needed to destroy three bulls now? Savage giants? What did I have to do here? I don't even know. I'm gonna destroy these infected bulls. Screen addict. I don't have an addiction. I can stop at any time I want. Just choose not to. 1.6 hummus. <laughs> hey guys, welcome. 1.6 hummus. Hummus 1.6. Phobia 1.5, guys. Do you know that game? Have you heard of Phobia 1.5? It was one of the scarier uh, horror games that I've played. It's not maybe that scary now, but at that time when I played it, it was ridiculously scary. Maybe some of you know Phobia 1.5. I doubt it, though. It wasn't that popular. But it was pretty puggers. I remember many, many moons ago when I was recording that Phobia 1.5 video. It was probably like eight years ago, maybe nine years ago. 
started recording it and after 50 minutes I just decided to give up and then I tried recording it the next day and the next day I also gave up so I never really finished the game because I always gave up okay let's start opening that up let's get the minigun should have gotten the spread shot okay, let's start the minigun and then we will actually let's spread shot them right now and then we'll start the minigun we need a Silent Hill stream. I don't even know where is si uh, how old is Silent Hill. If Silent Hill is last in Earth Survival, then there will be Silent Hill live streams. There, that's all I can say. We won Project Zomboid. There will be a new Project Zomboid video tomorrow. There will be more Project Zomboid. Survivor notes. Beanies and items and everything. Let's get the M16s and the scythe. A parang blade, we already have it. And that's about it. Let's bring the rest of the loot back here to the base. Obviously, that's not how you were supposed to clear the farm location. Check out everything you need to know about Lies in its final video to learn more. Check out how to clear the farm. LDOE, Cyric, whatever, and you'll know what's up. I start bleeding. It's okay. I can stop whenever I want. Yep. That is true. I can confirm. Uh, what I also can confirm is that we are almost ready to do another raid. And the poll is going strong. I made a poll here. Asking you guys. Do you think LDU is the best mobile survival game? And 77% of you voted yes. And 23% of you voted no. Interesting. To those that voted no, do you have a better survival game on mobile? I'm not saying, again, I have to emphasize that, which it doesn't really matter, people won't care. But I have to emphasize it. I'm not saying that Last Earth is the best mobile survival game. Because I think there are a lot of different games that are probably better than Last Earth, especially on PC. But uh, if we're talking just about mobile, then, like, if you need a, a multiplayer mobile survival game, then Frostborn will be better than LDOE. Because LDOE doesn't have multiplayer. Sorry, it actually does in the crater. Stop it. We do not talk about the crater here. So, there's that. There are probably other survival games. Once Human is coming out soon-ish, and it's good. There was Life After, which maybe is better than LDE if you like Life After. There's Undawn, maybe they released some updates. I don't know, though. There are some other games. I'm not saying that LDE is the best game ever, but... The best mobile survival game. But it is what it is. LDO is so boring, says Saturn. What is not boring on mobile? I'm just like, I'm curious. I'm not I'm not saying you, hey, if it's not boring, then if it is boring, then what is not boring? Like I'm genuinely curious. Planes vs. Zombies. I've never played Planes vs. Zombies. Never. Clash of Clans is not boring. Alright. Fair enough. Play Resident Evil 4. It's a zombie game. I have played Resident Evil 4. We have beaten Resident Evil 4, uh, 4 poorly. We have maybe 10 videos on it. Around 10 videos. Plus we have an entire Resident Evil 4 DLC. Playthrough, so... Yes, there is some Resident Evil 4 content. What? Cyric, you're lying to me. You're just toying with my feelings. I would never toy with your feelings. I'm telling you. Resident Evil 4 is Resident Evil 4. Open the caps. It'll take us forever to open those caps. Then Cyric, bet 50. My brain short-circuited there for a second. We're not going to bet 50 because it's stupid. Actually, betting 50 is very smart. And only smart people bet 50. So bet 50. I'm dumb, I'm stupid. And that's why I'm not gonna be betting 50. Um, homies, are you ready to do a raid? Um, 
the blind one and the armor. Okay, let's deal with the blind one. And then let's go to the raid. Yes. The Gamba and LDE. LDE is just one big Gamba. What is Gamba? It's gambling, ladies and gentlemen. enough guns I guess for the blind one more Cyric more 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 guys stop it I don't need more guns that is plenty but Cyric I want to no guys it's enough enough is enough you need to know when to say stop it's like is the blind one actually blind I have no idea I'm not a doctor However, I want to become a doctor. It's never too late to become a doctor. I'm 26. You can become a doctor in like, what, 10 years maybe? So when I'll be 20, uh, 36, 37. When I'll be 37, I'll be a doctor. Dr. Cyric. Dr. Darius. That even has a ring to it. Dr. Darius. Brain surgeon. Hmm? Sounds kind of poggers. Um, the bunker alpha for a second I've forgotten what I wanted to do here because there was a comment and it I didn't know how to respond to it and I was like whatever I'm just gonna let it go I'm just gonna let it slide Darius is a mid name says Manje your name is Manje and you're dissing Darius <laughs> sorry it's not Manje it's Mange no matter what Manje Mange Darius, on the other hand, that's a sick name. Darius. Darius, Darius, Darius. It's a sick name. Fogger's name, and you know it. Discord. Darius is a mid name. Nobody has ever said that to me. You just roasted my name. Are you nuts? You're crazy. You want me to have a heart attack? Uh, 18336. 18336. There we go. Thanks. Discord. Discord.gg slash happy sorry. You can join there and get the password or chat with people about LDE or other things. Join our Discord. Darius is a name. It is a name. Dr. Darius. What does Darius mean? It's a name. It means nothing. It's a name. Actually, it means everything. It's like, why don't you look young anymore, says Ali Salim. I have no idea. Speaking about not looking young, I actually want to show you something, ladies and gents. You just got me an idea. I just realized how old I've gotten, right? So you know the thumbnails, I kind of... I used to... And I still use, like, kind of the same-ish faces on the thumbnails because I used to make a new face for, like, many years every day and it would take, like, 20, 30 minutes to just, like, add another face in the thumbnail. And then I just realized that all of those faces look the same anyways. Like, even I couldn't differentiate them. Like, it was a smile is a smile. Like, there's no way I can make that smile look different. So, I was just redoing the same face. And it would just look the same anyways. So... Then I just decided why not just, like, have, like, 10, 15 different faces and then just, like, use them. I'm not gonna see the difference anyways. But today I was like, you know what? Maybe it's time for us to... To get a new face. And bruh. Cyric has gotten older. Check this out. So this is the old Cyric, right? This is the old Cyric. This picture is probably from, I don't know, maybe three years ago. Uh, two, three years ago. That's about it. And this is the new one. Right? Look at all the wrinkles. The dude has gotten older. Like, it's not even... I've gotten old. That's all I have to say. The dude has gotten old. That's about it, ladies and gentlemen. That's all I had to say. That's all I had to show. Some of you said, that's like why you don't look young anymore. That's it. I've gotten old. Where can I buy a new face? I have no idea. I don't specialize in black market. Is 
You should put mad filters on your face when you put thing thumbnails. Thank you for the idea. I'll absolutely start doing that right now. I have no idea what that is, I'll, but I'll absolutely do it just to please you. I'll do it. You've been too mad over the years due to the lack of last internet updates. I'm not really mad. I would say just disappointed. I just want to have like whatever, an update with new content. And that's about it. Looks like last internet is sucking the life out of you, says Elio, you pro. It's fine. All right, let's activate the hard mode. Get your old voice back. I don't know. What do you mean my old voice back? The voice has been the same. Why don't you apply for dev, says Saturn? Why would I apply for dev? Dude. Wait, I'm going to... Uh, first of all, the just because developers develop last and it doesn't mean that they have a lot of say in it. Like, they'll... I'm not sure how the company is structured, whatever they do. There's, like, one dude that tells them what they need to add, and they add it, right? I don't think developers can, like, add things, right? So even if I become a developer... First of all, I don't have any skills, so I cannot become a developer. I can't develop games, right? I cannot develop games. But if I could, it doesn't mean that I would be able to add a helicopter. It's not like, oh, finally we have Cyric. The Messiah, right? Sayak will add us the helicopter. Thank you for saving the company. So it's not that they listen to that. And also, I wanted to make another point, but I don't remember what I wanted to say. But yeah, and second of all, I wouldn't want to be a dev there. They don't release new updates there, so do you think they're making fat stacks? Again, I have no idea what stacks they're making. But we are not getting new updates there. I wouldn't want to join a company and get sacked the next day. Because there is no new content. If there is no new content, I don't know how long the game will survive for. So why will I? Why would I want to be a dev there? But in all of that, like, why would anybody want me to be a dev when I have no skills of anything? I only click W A S D and space to shoot an L D V. That's all I know what to do. But all the jokes aside, I have no idea if if the game is making fat stacks or not. Because if if it's not making any money, we're not gonna get new updates. But if it's already making a lot of updates, why would they release new updates? So no matter what, it always leads to no new updates. Kinda. No. Yes. Does it make sense? It makes sense. The game's making a lot of money. Why release new content? And if it does make enough money, then they're not obviously going to release new content because there is no money to make the new content. Wait, so. <laughs> you can join the IT department for LDV as a tester. Sure, they need another tester. Let's now soak up a little bit of damage. Yeah. Haven't died from the blind in a long time. Why did I say that? Because maybe I'll die today. Just to be like, hey, I died from the blind one. Yeah. Should I build the ATV or the boat first? The boat. If I was honest, I'd just say build neither, because both of them are equally useless. The boat is more useless. Do you think the game will be updated this year? Says Lucas, yes, I believe the game will be updated this year. And uh, we will get some sort of a big update this year. Like, I'm not trying to be sarcastic this time. Like, I'm, I'm actually being serious. I do believe that this year we will get a big update because we haven't had permanent content since the transport hub. So we will be getting something big soon-ish. But what that'll be, I have no idea. We should be getting something new soon. I don't know if the next update will be something big, though. Because Easter is around the corner and they don't pass up 
the opportunity to make uh, holiday related uh, temporary content so that's probably what we'll be getting or the forlorn fair event we've been speculating about that like since probably january actually i think i can pull up live streams from january and i said probably the exact same thing but after that i have no idea so it depends what we're gonna get what if easter is just the forlorn fair event i have no idea in any case, the Forlorn Fair event isn't really an update anyways. It's just an event that we've already had in the game. So them re-releasing Forlorn Fair event and calling it a new update isn't a new update. I want the Forlorn Fair event to come back. But as I said, the Forlorn Fair event is a... Is an event. And that's about it. It's not a new update. I hope we will get Tungsten tomorrow. I hope we'll get Tungsten today right now. I don't want to wait till tomorrow. I wish Kefir would just be honest to the players. Would honest to the players about what? If they said that, hey, the game is dying, we're not gonna release more content, that would be kind of silly because the current players that are playing will quit the game. So I don't know what kind of honesty, how honest they could be about the game. I have no idea. I'm just mostly sad. I think I mentioned that a couple of times already, but I'm mostly sad that we don't really get news from the developers before we used to get like nice sneak peeks then sneak peeks were okay then i guess sometimes we'd get a nice sneak peek then sometimes we get a bad sneak peek but at least we were getting sneak peeks then we had like some sort of a a roadmap i kind of also understand why they maybe don't show those roadmaps because things change and people then complain about those things like, oh you said that you'll add this but you didn't add that so Maybe roadmaps are a bad thing. I have no idea, honestly. All I know is that we do not have a lot of communication from the devs. And maybe I want too much from the game. That's all I'm just... Maybe my expectations are just too high. Maybe it's just a typical mobile survival game. They just like want to grab your money and that's it. And I just want too much from it. Maybe it's just like a simple cash grab mobile game. Maybe that's all it is, and I just want it to be, like, something amazing. Maybe that's my problem, not the game's problem. I have no idea. Roadmaps are great. They have grown lazy with all the cash. I don't know what cash they have, and I don't know if they've grown lazy, so I can't comment on that. What I can say is that I don't have enough updates. Like, myself personally, I want more updates. That's about it. And unless the next update is going to be like permanent content, we're not going to get permanent content in again, couple of extra months. It depends how good is the next update. <laughs> because when we were getting updates regularly, like it, it was happening all the time since the start of last and that's how the games work. Like they release a new update. The, the hype is at its peak, then the hype dies down, dies down, dies down, and when the hype is at its lowest point, like when nobody cares about the game, boom, they drop another update, the hype goes back up, and it just, you keep like riding the, the wave. But we haven't had a nice permanent content update in a very long time. And it's sad. In any case, let's do a raid. There is no multiplayer when you join a clan, right? Like, you can raid with your clan mates and loot or, like, clan wars. No, you cannot do any clan wars or anything. Uh, you can kill bosses, but it's a completely different... It's like a different game. You have to go in the crater. It's like a completely separate game. It's not even last on Earth, kind of. So there's that. Let's craft some armor. Let's get some armor. costs three iron rods to make a router and it costs two iron rods to make an iron frame nice logic ldoe says ldoe pro you literally need to shred pine beams to get sawdust i guess logic is out of the window let's craft 20 first aid kits Oh, 
One of the best ways to get copper is floor four bunker alpha is the last room. You don't always get copper there or steel, but it is a nice way to definitely get some copper and some steel. Definitely. Also, the farm location is easy and you can get copper there. And once you unlock the transport up, you can get more copper there if you're lucky. I don't know why the suburbs haven't released yet. It's been in the works for so long. And uh, Bunker Charlie has been in the works for so long. The oil rig has been in the works for so long. The submarine has been in the works for so long. We don't even know if that stuff has been in the works. Like, we don't know. And if it's been in the works, then why not release it? I have no idea. And it, I, I, I know anything, ladies and gentlemen. It's hard to comment on anything. Like, I can't say anything because I don't know anything. They show a new location for, like, whatever reason. So, like, hey, the game's not dying yet. Check this out. We're going to release the suburbs one day. Boom. Disappear for a year. <laughs> no content for a year. So, remember about the suburbs? Forget about them. You won't get the suburbs. How about Bunker Foxtrot? Mm -hmm. It's coming next time. Don't worry, it's coming soon. Boom, a year passes. No Bunker Foxtrot. It's like, what's going to happen in the future, guys? I'm trying to foresee the future from now on. In any case. Wait, did I just talk to the Raiders? I think I did. Uh, let's get another Glock. I'm gonna get these two broken glocks. Let's modify them. Dude, I love this gunsmith bench that I moved it here. I hate that developers have removed the ability for us to pre-check mods now and what damage they do, especially with not assembled mods. That's stupid. But whatever. At this point, that's the least of our worries. So I play the sad uh, sound effect and mistakenly press take all in the settlement storage. Excuse me. Oh, in the settlement storage. I see what you mean. And then I'll have to sort out all of the loot there. You see, that would be funny. Let's get five hatchets. Last inner devs are doing everything against us. Yep. <laughs> everything to make the game worse. Mods? You don't need to know what mods to assemble. You have to assemble them first, and then you can see if they're good or bad. Okay. But did anybody ask that? No. I don't know. Last Earth has always had problems with communicating. And we still have those issues till this day. But those issues have just become bigger. Okay, let's do the raid. It's like, do you think the devs watch you? I don't think so. I think back when the game came out for the first year or two, developers, I think, watched streamers they watched youtubers i think so they watched content on youtube i don't think they watch it anymore because why would they as there's no new content there's nothing for them to react to like why would they be watching another live stream of me clearing bunker alpha for the thousandth time because they've already seen it i think when they release new content i think they definitely watch probably maybe at least i I'd, I'd hope so that they watch some people they don't have to watch me they have to watch somebody maybe to get some insight but they haven't released new content in a long time, so no, I don't think that they watch any content. But I might be wrong, right? Maybe they are watching. If they're watching, they're definitely they're not watching me. And if they are watching, then hello, developers. Welcome. I love Last Day on Earth. My favorite game of all time. LDE Raid Lex. Let's see what Lex has to offer. At least it's not arms, it's just legs, am I right? <laughs> Guys, you're dumb dums. Just a bunch of dumb dums. 
Did you hear the clapping emote? I don't even know if you heard it. I just started clapping there. If the clapping wasn't there, then... Then I apologize. We got a trash raid. That's a surprise. That's a new one. Sayak looks, look how the toxic abomination runs now. What, what happened with the toxic abomination? I'm confused. What is that laugh? What's wrong with that laugh? That's just normal laugh. Wait, if I'm going to now destroy this tree, will I make more noise? Oh no, the tree did not explode. But if you throw grenades on trees, they will explode. The grenades will explode. Three, four guns, ladies and gentlemen. Whoa! From trash to smash. Couldn't even pronounce that. From trash to smash. Buggers. Just made it up, ladies and gentlemen. From trash shit to smash hit, ladies and gentlemen. This raid is boggers. We've gotten four guns for one C4. Smash like, smash subscribe. Actually, I don't even know if it happens during the live stream, but if you're watching this live stream here right now, uh, after the live stream is over, check the like button. Maybe it's only on desktop, but when I say, smash the like button, the like has to actually start shining and doing whatever other things. It does do it. I've seen that personally, like some YouTuber will say, smash the like button and the like will start shining. Like it does happen. I'm not really sure if it happens during live streams, but after the live stream is over and if you're watching the live stream, then let me know if the like is shining. Um, in any case. Say it again. Smash the like button. I don't think it's going to work on lives though. On flows. The hub. We should go to the hub. I still like the hub. I mean, what else are we going to do besides the transport hub? I like the transport hub. If you guys have any other better ideas, then I'm all ears. It did something, so some guy didn't do anything. I don't know if it does it in mobile, if it does it during live streams, if it does it on desktop, or it does it after the live streams. I don't know. I know it does that. Because I've seen it do it. There are lots of lives in our ads these days. That's good. The more ads, the better. That means the game maybe will grow. Hopefully. They are attracting new players, and that's cool. Did I call the raiders again? I did. We could do another raid. Ravager, the three zombie bulls that I cannot even kill. Let's do another raid right now. Because I cannot get these things anyways. Let's go to the... Highway. The ads got an update. The game did into the A. Yep, again, I do not mind last night ads. Like, it's fine. The game, they are attracting new players. How else are they going to do this? By releasing good content, Cyric, duh! Well... It's kind of also interesting because the uh, ATV, Bunker Bravo, and all of those things, I think at least those updates were a success. Like every permanent content update is a success. Laboratory was a success. At first, a lot of people like played. I think so. Again, I don't know their numbers, but at least on YouTube, like more people were excited when the laboratory came out. Like people were actually excited about the laboratory. When the transport hub came out, people were excited about the transport hub. When Bunker Bravo and ATV came out, people were, like, very excited about that. But... And if developers know that people are excited about permanent content, why they don't release permanent content? And then because I have so many questions. And I cannot answer any of them. Because I don't know anything. We don't know any new answers. It's not like they really... If 
if they were releasing permanent content and people weren't excited about permanent content, then I get it. Why would they release more permanent content? But every time they release permanent content, people are happy about it. Well, at least they're happy to a point. Because that permanent content always has flaws, like laboratory. Like, what's the point of the laboratory? When it came out, it did, like, literally nothing. And they keep going up there to re to modify my weapons, but I moved my gunsmith bench downstairs. It's not really downstairs, it's just down there. The transport hub after? Yes, after this raid, we're gonna go to the transport hub. I like the transport hub. Do you guys like the transport hub? Do we still can use chopper? It's trick to bring more items in raid, yes. You can still do that trick. Did you update the game? It was bug fixes. Nope. Even the events like the Fort Moss and the prison could have stayed in as semi-permanent content, but they just make them time-limited events as the yeah, yep. I mean, some events obviously make sense, like New Year event, right? It's not gonna be a reoccurring event. Like, they cannot put out, like, New Year's event in the summer. Like, that wouldn't make sense. But some of those events, like the prison event, I don't know why they removed it completely. Um... Okay, let's go up here. I like the prison season, but I'm not really sure people liked the prison season. I don't know. For some reason, that's what I remember. To be honest, people didn't like anything, so I don't even know whose fault was that, because every time developer would release a new update, people wouldn't like it. For, for, for obvious reasons, for legit reasons, so I'm not saying that people are not right. But every time we'd get a new update, a lot of people would complain about it. So maybe that scared away the developers from developing the game, right? So maybe they didn't know how to filter out the negativity from positivity. They didn't know which comments matter, which all of the comments matter, obviously, but you got the point. I don't know. I have no idea what happened, why we're not getting more content. Like, it's... I could speculate forever, and I wouldn't get closer. Yeah, the prison season was one of the most memorable seasons. It was season six, if I remember right. Oh, wow, it was so early on. Maybe they cannot add any new permanent locations to the game. Maybe the the game will be too big. They sometimes talk about technical limitations. So what if they cannot add any more new locations? Because it's impossible. They've hit the limit. Well, that wouldn't be player's fault, right? We want more content. And I get it. Why they were releasing temporary updates. Temporary content. Like the prison seasons and other stuff. Like you cannot all the time add a new permanent location. Because... Maybe we would have too many permanent locations. So getting something temporary was also fine, I guess. I don't know, I didn't mind it that much. I don't know. Everything's complicated. I don't know anything. All I can say is that whatever they're doing, there is a reason for why they're doing things that they're doing. The reason is probably money. Money is always the reason for everything. So we got one generator. Get rid of the north. Yeah, yeah, they could they could have gotten rid of the red red z this zone instead of the red uh, redwood location. Cyric told me that we don't have helicopter because we don't we have too many locations guys I didn't tell you any of that stop it stop it get some help They're milking the cash cow with goop skins and goop season passes but we don't even get skins anymore 
Wait, when was the last time we've gotten a new season, a new skin? We haven't gotten new skins in a long time. They stopped releasing skins as well. And uh, everything. We are not getting any anything new anymore for a very long time. The winter event was very good. Yep. As I said, maybe just my expectations are too high and that's it. Maybe we should play the game only on the updates. You know, the release the update we played for one day. Boggers. We enjoy it. Maybe if the update is a hit, we do another video. So we do two videos per update and we're done. And then we wait like three, four, five, six, seven months until another update comes out. Maybe that's what Last on Earth is. I don't know. Is there a way to get in Bunker Charlie? Nope, there is no way to get in Bunker Charlie. Uh, let's do another raid and then we have the transport hub for us. Um, the engine done. Let's get some armor. When is the next Project Zomboid live stream? I don't know. Tomorrow is a Project Zomboid video. That's what I can say for sure. Probably. Unless helicopter comes out, then there will be that. I'm out of iron. Disgusted. Hopefully I have a lot of iron in my inbox. By a lot of iron, I mean a lot of a lot of a lot of iron. Okay, we don't have a lot of a lot of a lot of iron, but we have an okay amount of iron. Let's craft three more hatchets. One, two, and three. Okay, we have a little bit of iron still. If I find iron during raids, I'll start getting it. I stopped picking up iron from raids. That's the problem. It's like, did you know traveling to gas station costs zero energy if you have VAP? What? Nah, you're lying. Actually, I did know. Yes. It still costs fuel, though. How do you get materials for the minivan? From the sewers. From the sewers. Imagine what the hype would be like when the helicopter comes out, says Wordy. Yeah, I guess it all depends what that helicopter will do. If it's the helicopter in the settlement for the expeditions, then there will be no hype. I don't know. I have no idea. Plus, it's been a very long time. A lot of people have quit the game. So even when the helicopter comes out, I don't know if the hype will be as big as it could have been. I don't know. I have no idea. Let's try to get those two blocks. And let's go to our second raid of the day. Helicopter or Charlie? Why not both? If they release the helicopter, like, what are you gonna do with that helicopter? Like, when people say we want helicopter, like, we usually mean... People usually mean that they want a helicopter and, like, something coming with it. They don't want just a helicopter. Like, what's the point of just helicopter if it doesn't go anywhere and doesn't do anything? So, Bunker Charlie is, like, is implied when you say helicopter. Oh, he said helicopter for Charlie. Yes. For some reason, I read four uh, as or. Or like iron or. Guys, stop it. LDOE. Raid player 6518. Is it any good? Is it any bad? Is it any phenomenal? We're about to find out. Can you craft the C4? Yes, you can craft C4s. 
they are very expensive, so I wouldn't suggest you or, or advise you to grab those C4s, but you can do it. have a decent amount of chests. I think I should be able to open up all of them, probably. In any case, I'll make sure to open up all of them. If I get iron, I'll take it. If I get anything useful, I'll take it. How to level up now? I need 30 levels to unlock raiders, but normal leveling is so long. It takes a long time to level up, get the healer's buff to double your experience and start grinding bunker alpha. That will be the fastest way to level up. Carrots, ladies and gentlemen. Carrots. That's what I got. Carrots! More carrots! If you like carrots... Then you already know what to do. Just tap it. Just smash it. I'm talking about the like button, of course. Um, nothing useful besides a couple of stones. Grab a watch from the chest, your hand is empty. I do not need a watch. But sorry, can we cycle them and get copper? Maybe we could get copper. Last in our city would be sick, but at the same time, it would just be a big motel. Yeah, would be cool to have two floors. I mean, they can definitely add two floors. They have shown that with the transport hub. There's the ladder where you unlock the second floor. So we could get like some sort of a city in last owner. That would be a big hit. Like if... If there's something that can make a comeback is... Is a city. Everybody goes nuts about zombies and cities. Zombie outbreak in the city. That's all... There is to it. All of those games usually succeed, right? If it's a zombie survival game in a city, and the city looks nice and zombies are fine, then people are happy with it. Like, for example, the day before, right? That's what it was. People were happy about it. Even though the game was goop and then it was a scam and whatever. You got the point. People usually go nuts for that kind of stuff. Because that's what people need. So if... If there is an update that I'd want to see... And that would have like probably the highest chance of bringing and adding new players to the game is is doing something with the cities. Like that helicopter could go to a city, but it also depends if they add that new content only for end game players. Then, eh, I don't know if that'll really work. It has to be accessible, relatively fast ish, and that content there has to be like really cool. Like, really replayable. They have to add, like, some sort of new game mechanics. I have no idea. Like, some sort of an extraction. Extraction games are popular nowadays, so they could add something of an extraction mechanic with cities. Like, that'd be the revival, revival point for LDOE. In any case, that was the raid we've got in food, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Food, uh, carrots. I think suburbs will need you to fix the bridge with 2,000 stone bricks. Sick. More Project Zomboid stream when? Hopefully soon. Tomorrow there will be a Project Zomboid uh, video. And more live stream? We'll, we'll see when. Imagine city as a location. Imagine what kind of loot you could get there. Okay. But yeah, big city with uh, two floors. Not maybe two floors, like more floors. Would be cool. But at the same time, I don't know. 
In any case, if you update last and heard the change to how the zombies run, it looks so weird, says LW Pro. Really? Are you scamazing me right now? Should we update the game and see how the zombies run? I think the running animation in the game was already fine. Like, this was a very solid animation here. I don't know if they've ever updated it, but it was always solid in my opinion. Like, the best animation from a lot of other survival games that I've played. Like, some animations look bad, but this one is fine. Like, it's actually a very good animation. You look at it for, like, constantly. It's all the time in the middle of the screen. That's what you always see. And I think that they nailed it. It's simple. It's good. It's fine. I don't see... It doesn't look weird. In my opinion. Maybe I've just looked at it for so long that it's just burnt into my brain. They run with both of their hands in front of them. So, wait. There was an update now. Should we, like, update the game and check out what's up? There was an animation update, maybe. Everyone is talking about Project Zomboid, but why not play Prey? It's such an underrated game. There are a lot of underrated games and everything is subjective. Here, we gotta drop some iron and nails. Iron and nails, iron and nails. Some nails go here, probably. And iron goes up there. And that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Time for us to go to the transport hub. Are we ready? Let's go to the transport hub. What up? Did I have no idea. I might be getting scammed right now. Some uh, elderly pro in the chat there says that there was an update and they updated some of the... Like a bug fix update, and they've updated the running animations from some zombies. I'm not sure if I believe that. But right, let's get ready to the transport hub, and then... First saw it with a butcher at the transport hub, I thought I was tripping. Update and see what it looks like. Yeah, we're gonna then update it. We'll see, ladies and gents. Let's just get the... <sighs> People in Discord. Cyric told me there's a new update. Where is it? Did he lie to me? Don't listen to Cyric. He's just an idiot. <laughs> I didn't say anything. And yeah, you know what? Maybe I did. Maybe I lied to you. Get on, sucker. That's it. I'm sick and tired of being used and abused for amusement. Let's get some melee weapons. Uh, machetes. Here they come. Two machetes is enough. Let's get some more glocks and that'll be better. I have some broken glocks. Let's just break these glocks fully. There we go. The up the the update didn't say anything about it. I'm actually confused. I hope I'm not wrong. It'll be embarrassing, says L2E Pro. It's fine. Don't worry about it. With the name that you have there, it's all it's you've you've already had out down out down yourself. Imagine naming yourself L2E Pro and not thinking that it's embarrassing. I'm obviously joking. It's a perfectly fine name. Don't worry about it. Um, you have the drone. We absolutely have to get the drone. Thanks for the info. Would have totally forgotten about it and you know it and I know it we both know it and I'm gonna get another 
another set of armor, and we are ready to go to the transport hub. Now we're gonna leave this place, we're gonna update the game to see if there are any new updates. Maybe there aren't any new updates. Port clearing after the transport hub. We've cleared the port many times already in the past. It takes a very long time to clear. And it's useless, basically. I just got an insane idea. I even got shivers. Imagine clearing a location. Let's say the laboratory, right? You clear the laboratory. Hear me out right now. You clear the laboratory. You get some sort of a key in the laboratory. And then that key unlocks some sort of another location. Right? Let's say at the end of the lab, you get the key that unlocks Bunker Charlie. And then you can loot Bunker Charlie once with that key because you've cleared the laboratory. I'm a bloody genius, ladies and gentlemen. Like, that would be sick. Like, actually, uh, two rabbits with one stone. I didn't get the drone. That'd be two rabbits with one stone. First of all, you make the laboratory actually useful again. Right? The laboratory is finally useful. And second of all, you have the... Bunker Charlie. Like, it doesn't have to be exactly that. Like, that's just an example. You clear one location to get the key to another location, and then you can clear that other location. I'm a genius, ladies and gentlemen. I even got shivers. That's the best idea that I've had, probably. I'm still surprised they haven't done that. In any case. Cyric, what should I do? Your forehead is staring into my soul. It says Ali Salim. Just accept it. Just embrace it. Stare back at it. Everything's gonna be fine. You forgot to mod your guns. I didn't forget to mod them. I did mod them. So, ladies and gentlemen, let's try to update the game. If there is an update. Maybe there is no new update. Maybe I'm just getting scammed. LDOE. I do not have an update at all. I do not have an update. When was the last time that I've updated it? Maybe I've already updated the game. Um, I wouldn't even know. When was the next? Yeah, when was the update? I have no idea when I've updated it. Well... There's no new updates. Thank you. Got scammed. Thanks for scamming me. I never saw a new update. The last update was at the start of February, I think, says Wordy. Yup. Uh, how do you get Ash if you don't have ATV? You don't get Ash. You need Ash to get. You need ATV to get Ash. Like sometimes you can get Ash from the transport hub. It's so annoying, raids only at level 150. It's very hard to reach level 130. Uh, as level 137, I barely get one level per day, says bruh, god. Well, hopefully you'll level up fast enough and you'll be able to do raids. What releases first, last and earth update or GTA 6? I am pretty sure we'll get a last and earth update, an update. But if we're talking about the LDOE helicopter or GTA 6, GTA 6 is coming out before the helicopter. Facts. Could bet money on it. If I had money to bet, I would bet money on the GTA 6 instead of the helicopter. Why I can't get oak if I have chopper? You have to go to the watchtower and unlock the watchtower. How on earth did you see me? Of course, of course, of course, of course, of course, they're all coming after me. 66 zombies, sick. There we go, got him. Could have just re-entered their location. Probably that's what I will do on my free-to-play account, right? Maybe. But here it's all right, not gonna waste your time with me entering the zone multiple times. That's weird. You don't have the update. It was three days ago. Maybe I've already updated it. Maybe it's already the new update. What What are the numbers when you log in the game? 
I could swear there was a way to check when was the last time that I've updated the game. I just couldn't find it. What are the numbers that you have when you log in? The numbers at the bottom. Wait, I'm going to re-enter this thing to, to, to check the numbers. These are the numbers that I have at the bottom. Like 4007 27, 8, 10, 19. Do you have the same exact numbers at the bottom? Don't you get tired of playing this game? I mean, you have like a hundred of videos about this as basic. Correction. I don't have a hundred videos about this game. I have over 1,500 videos. 1,600? 1,700 maybe at this point? Maybe even 1,800. Over 1,500. I'll do you process. I don't have the update. Okay, then that's crazy. I have no idea why I don't have the update. Why did you get the update? Unless you're lying to us and that's it. Of course, only you're, you're the only one that has the update. Sure, buddy. That's it, I figured you out. Bring a lie detector here. Yeah, we already... I know I keep doing this. We already figured out that that dude was lying. That's it. I'm kidding. Maybe he's not lying. Maybe he's just not telling the truth. It's like there's the definition of lying. All jokes aside, mine is 1.21. Nice. It's pretty average. 1.21? It says 1.20. There's no way it says 1.21 for you. How to get fiberglass. You can craft it at the... At the port. You can get fiberglass from the transport hub. You can get fiberglass from the sewers now. Can somebody correct me if I'm wrong? I think you can get fiberglass from the sewers. Um, nothing. Let's loot the bags. Nothing in the bags. Mine is 1.21 too. Okay, sure, homies. I have outdated game. Because why wouldn't I have an outdated game? I don't have the update. You guys have the update. That's buggers. I have nothing. A lot of zombie officers. I have 1.21. Okay, so a lot of you have 1.21. Why don't I have 1.21? Last update was February 5th. I mean, the last update was February 5th, but they've gotten a bug fix update for some reason. Some people have gotten it. Unless I am getting skamazed by a group of people, which at this point, I wouldn't even be surprised. Refresh your thing. Okay, I will refresh my thing. Everything is refreshed. I do not have new update. Is it because of mobile or an emulator or something? The emulator is emulating mobile, so everything should be the same. No way I missed that. Okay, I'm gonna let that dude attack me. I wanted to deal with this smasher and I'll re-enter the zone. Perhaps I'll attack this guy, attack this guy. And I will leave this. Yo, Zena, welcome to the stream. I'm glad to hear that. Welcome, welcome, welcome. But people who have 120, are you on iOS or Android? LDOE Pro, did you get that update on iOS? Are you on iOS? Are you on iOS? Those that have 1.21, maybe you've gotten an update earlier on iOS. 
By update, I mean just a bug. I don't even know why I'm talking about update. I'm just like digging my grave here. Somebody will say something about update on Discord. And my name will be dragged through the mud again. On Discord, it doesn't matter. They won't investigate. If somebody says something... That's why I'm never usually on Discord there. But if somebody will ever like mention Cyric saying that, Oh, Cyric told me. People, nah, Cyric is just stupid even though I never said anything. Oh, that's a nice way to get them. Sneak attack it. Oh, of course this dude. It's full health. Of course the dude spat on me. At this point, it doesn't matter then. Sykes said that there's a new update. It doesn't exist. sick at all. Android says DA. I got some technical updates too, but it was Samsung store, not Discord. Eh, not Google. Android, Samsung. Yes, iOS. Okay. Interesting. Well, some of you have gotten the bug fix update. I did not get it for some reason. They changed the zombie, the way zombies run, it looks weird. All of the zombies are only one zombie. I think last on earth is the best. There is no competition, says Rami. It's a lot of co copium, homie. Do not overdose on that copium. Breaking news, Cyric lies to millions. I wish I could lie to millions. That's my goal. When I grow up, I want to lie to millions. Should we even go and loot that stupid place down there? Like, we never get drone mods anyways. Why is the point to loot it? Have you guys ever gotten a drone mod here? Is it even possible to get drone mods? Maybe we only get drone parts. I'll get shredded. We survived. Don't worry, ladies and gentlemen. Everything was calculated. That screen was calculated. Everything's calculated. We've gotten a C4. Come to my pocket, baby. Let's get that C4. What is the background sound you're using? Uh, from YouTube library. And some of the uh, tracks are from official Last on Earth soundtrack. SoundCloud. Link is in the description. So far, what I've seen, Butcher, Toxic, Animation, Bloater. I don't think the past zombies got changed. Okay. Interesting. Also, wait, wait, wait a second. I think something have happened. When you go to the... When you go on the map... And you check the suburbs. The suburbs now are a little bit bigger. You can see a bit more from the suburbs. Before, I think it was smaller. I did get some sort of an update like a few days ago. Some sort of a bug fix, I guess. Probably, maybe. I'm not sure, though. I think I've gotten some sort of a bug fix update. But for some reason, it's not 1.21. I think I've seen someone in Discord say that the vision of the suburbs is a little bit bigger. And it's actually true. Or maybe I'm just tripping. I'm getting skamazed again. I don't know. Okay, that dude is dead. Okay, that dude is dead as well. That carton of milk is gonna kill me. Oh my goodness, of course. Push me. <laughs> idiots. Bunch of idiots. Bug fix equals something new. Apparently. There we go, we've gotten drone parts and that's it. I haven't completed that bridge yet. Says Wardy. Understandable. I don't know even if you should complete it because it's bad. The drone mods are bad. If you could, however, upgrade this drone, right? Why do you only have four 
uh, four charges. If you could upgrade the drone, let's say up to 10 or 12 charges, right? That would be better. Would be a reason for people to grind. It doesn't have to be ridiculously expensive. You don't have to grind 16 years to to upgrade the drone to 16 charges or to 12 charges. But would be cool. Would be something to upgrade. People like upgrades. Like level one drone has four charges. Level whatever. 12 drone will have like eight charges or 16 charges or whatever amount of charges. You got the point. In any case. I'm just on copium at this point. So much copium in the system that if you were standing next to me, you would... Uh, you would OD as well. Bug fix equals March update. Haha! <laughs> Wouldn't be surprised. Bug fix is the best update there is. Some bugs were fixed. Still none of the bugs are fixed and none of the bugs... I haven't seen any bugs. Oh no, oh no, these riot schmucks. How can I get your face skin on the backpack? Uh, thanks for wanting it. And uh, sadly, it's impossible to get it. Are you gonna clear suburbs today, says Insane. Welcome to the stream, Insane. And I don't think so. Sadly, I don't think I'll be able to clear the suburbs. I don't have the firepower to clear the suburbs. By the way, I have to clarify, guys. Suburbs are not in the game. I'm just playing here. I'm just trolling. Like a little inside joke. Hello, I'm new here in the game, and I just completed the buy because of your tips to clear the farm. Thank you, says Gancalo Silva. I'm glad to hear that. Welcome to the stream, and congrats on your chopper. Good luck with your last on Earth journey. But yeah, the idea that I had today, clearing a location, getting a key, and with that key going to another location. That would be sick. And then you clear that other location, you get another key. Right? And then with that key, you can go to another location. So that way, in order to clear, let's say, Bunker Zulu. You have to clear the laboratory, and the laboratory will get a key to go to Bunker Charlie, and in Bunker Charlie, you get the key to go to Bunker Zulu. That would be content, ladies and gentlemen. That's what I call content. All of the locations become useful, kind of. I mean, the loot obviously have to justify it. It's not like you clear the laboratory, Bunker Bravo, Bunker Charlie, and then you clear Bunker Zulu, and at the end, you get five scrap metal. Obviously, it doesn't make any sense, because if you are gonna put in, like, I don't know, five, six, seven hours of just grinding these locations to, to clear Bunker Zulu once, then the loot has to be worth it, obviously. But like, that would be epic because you wouldn't be able to clear Bunker Zulu all the time. Like you'd have to clear other locations and th that's just such a sick idea. I just absolutely love it. I have no idea why developers haven't come up with it, but that idea just popped out of nowhere. Sometimes I'm just an idea machine. I open my eyes and idea just... Boom, 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 boom. Just bombard me from all the sides. Motel becomes useful. Maybe you clear the motel to unlock like Motel V2. You get the key from the motel to loot something. They could absolutely do it. Like for the beginners, they don't have to like add like extremely difficult locations. They don't have to add Bunker Zulu where you have to clear Bunker Bravo Laboratory and uh, Bunker Charlie to access Bunker Zulu. Let's say they added some sort of a weaker zone. You have to clear just the motel. You get the key from the motel and then you can go to some sort of another location that gets like, okay, loot. Voices equals ideas is water bottle. Hey, listen, I don't have voices in my head. I totally don't have voices in my head. You shut up. No, you shut up. No, guys, I don't have any voices, I promise. Uh, let's get out of here. Oh, we got the toxic darter. Sick. Imagine April Fool's last on Earth update that nerves wall trick. Sick. Type so, you should make your own 
We should just make our own better version of last and with lots of updates. If it was that easy. What, Last and Earth team has millions and bunch of developers that are talented and that's what we have. So do you really think Happy Side could bring something better? There are also lots of cool PC games that were developed by only one player, well, by only one developer and that get more updates than LDOE, so... I don't know. Grim Soul has something similar for dungeons. Yep. No, I mean, that would be... Uh, maybe some other games have that. And I'm not saying that, oh, it's like the best idea in the game. I'm just saying that that's how they can make other locations finally useful. And it would be actually interesting. You clear, like, the laboratory, you get some sort of a key. It says on that key, then, hey, you gotta go to, like, I don't know, Bunker Charlie. Obviously, for that, they have to add Bunker Charlie or whatever other location. They don't have to, like, be exactly like that. You just got the point. It would be cool to clear a location to get a key, and then with that key, you go somewhere else. It's always fun to get a key. I like how he said talented, funny guy says the A. Hey. I think they are talented. Are you Polish, Cyrik? I do speak Polish, yes. I wouldn't say I'm Polish Polish, because I wasn't born in Poland. I was born in Lithuania. But... Uh... I went to a Polish school in Lithuania. So I am Polish, I am Lithuanian, and whatever you want me to be. Let's uh, open up another crate here. I've been playing for six months and I want to build the drone, but it's expensive. Well, expensive, like eggs. You said with double G, expensive. I don't know. It takes a while to get the drone. You have to clear the laboratory many times to get the drone. The transport up isn't really worth it, but it's really fun to clear. Better than Alpha Bravo and the laboratory says LDRU Pro. It is... It could be way more worth it if... If, if the bosses were nerfed by half, it would like probably be worth it for sure without like even thinking. But now you have to get lucky and sometimes you can get a stack of copper and that is worth it. It's not that expensive. Like if I don't kill, if I don't clear that room that requires uh, these Genesis guns with those uh, ride zombies. Then the transport up is like pretty cheap if you don't consider the boss. And if you wall trick the minor boss, transport up is always worth it. That's, that's false. That's not true, actually. It's not always worth it. It, it also depends what do you mean worth it. Like what's worth it. But it does have a lot of loot. And you can definitely get a decent amount of loot. But if you get the butcher boss, like you will use a couple of guns here. You won't always profit with guns. But Guns aren't everything. Said nobody ever. Guns are everything in this game. And whoever says that they're not, they're just delusional. All right? You're delusional if you think that guns aren't everything. I even say that guns aren't everything. So I am delusional myself. And that is true. We're just trying to make... Uh, to, to, to get more copium. That's what a person on copium would say. That, oh, guns are overrated. We don't need guns. Hey, you get a... You get copper. You don't need guns. Actually, copper is pretty cool. Oh, no. I'm getting shrek here right now. Did I just use shrek unironically? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Cyric, any raids today? Absolutely, yes. Should have just said absolutely. Absolutely no or absolutely yes. We don't know. 
there were already two raids. But if I say no and you leave the stream, then the answer is yes, there will be more raids. Just please stick around, don't leave the live stream. But if you're gonna watch the live stream regardless, then I'll be honest with you, then probably we're not gonna do more raids today because I've already done two raids. But if you're gonna stay and watch the live stream in hopes of having more raids, then absolutely we're gonna do 10 more raids, ladies and gentlemen, and I'll go and unlock the helicopter. I'll say everything that I have to say to keep you watching. The boss here, the boss, okay, at least this dude. You should don't mind. Just I'm honest, ladies and gentlemen, am I right? New Fortnite season stream when? Hell yeah, Fortnite, my favorite game. Okay, let's get the drone. Let's drop the, the nade on it. Stop it, schmuck, you moved again. Lord. I thought his health was already below 250. Because you're bad, the Cyric. Thank you. I wasn't aware of that. Imagine playing a game for six years and still being bad at it. Welcome to my reality. Did last on Earth age well? Yes, it aged like fine milk. <laughs> it aged very well. STOP DRILLING ME! Okay. And my drone is almost... done. get this thing or I could break this katana fully I do like using my machete a bit more because I can get crit shots from it I cannot get any crit attacks with my katana Goodness, unbelievable. And again, that thing broke. That's it. No, we no longer have any melee weapons. So sadly, we gotta use this neutralizer. Wah! Moved too early. I can do three shots actually with this. So the neutralizer will just shred this dude. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. We did it. We've gotten this terminal key card fogger. I said it's always nice, it's fun to get keys. And now with this key, we could unlock Bunker Charlie. Sick. Um, I do not have any melee weapons anymore. That's sad. Should have gotten an extra machete, so let's just waste these glocks. I have no walls. Should I raid? Probably not. 
You can store some of your valuable. Depends how many chests you got. You can store some of the loot at the bunker alpha. At the, in the top lockers. Please open the first crate for funsies. Guys, do you want me to open up the first crate for funsies? I can do it. And there we go. We just wasted our guns. This crate might be nice. Sometimes you can get copper. Sometimes you can get loot. No, no. What do you guys mean? No, you don't like funsies. You don't like fun stuff. What is wrong with you? Psych, like only good loot, only third crate, only AK, no funsies. Okay. You guys don't have to be such party poopers. Why well, don't want me to open up the first crate? What if I want to have some fun? Don't you think the first crate will be a lot of fun? I've already opened up the first crate twice, probably. And yeah, the last time I've opened it up, it was actually not that bad. It's pretty decent. One rhymes with fun, says Lila. Exactly. I apologize, Lila. Lila says one rhymes with fun. And I 100% agree with that. Mm, let's drop the first eight kits. Can you say something in Polish? Dzień dobry. Ja jestem dziki w Uczęga i dzisiaj będziemy grać ostatni człowiek na ziemi. And that's enough. Let's open up the cargo. And uh, we're gonna... See, perhaps the first aid kit crate. Hmm, maybe not that bad. The Genesis crate. Actually, I'd probably go for the Genesis crate because this arm crate is bad. Like, it has only a couple of guns here. This crate is actually pretty poop. The GM crate is nice if you want to assemble your ATV and you want to get ATV transmissions. And uh, obviously they're not guaranteed. I think I have to say that's like lied to me. No ATV transmissions. It's it's random. Maybe you'll never get it or maybe you will get it. But the fourth crate is probably the best. So I'll probably be opening up the fourth crate, ladies and gentlemen. Who had daylight saving time last night in their country, says Lila. Wait, what? Daylight saving time. Uh, when is daylight saving in France? Did I miss daylight saving? No way. Daylight saving in France. Uh, March 31st. So it's not here yet. It lasts from March 31st till October 27th. So, hey, they haven't changed the time yet. Oops, I accidentally opened the fourth crate. I wanted to open up the first crate. Oof. Guys, I'm sorry to those that wanted to that wanted me to open up the first crate. I apologize. Yeah. And let's see what we're going to get. And we got three... Three guns. Are there any good? Kind of a nail. I did not get the crate. I did not get the crane key. They could give us a guaranteed crane key. Sound like it's such an OP crate anyways. We could get that guaranteed crane key. And I'd be happy with it. I want the crane key. I want keys. This game needs more keys. That's the that's the answer. It needs more keys. It needs more chests that you can dissolve in your acid bath. And more helicopters. And the drone doesn't count. When I unlocked the drone, I should have titled the video, Unlock the Helicopter. And I should have started the video. Mom, can we have a helicopter? No, we have a helicopter at home. Helicopter at home. And I zoomed to the drone. A camera pans to the drone. That would be amazing, ladies and gentlemen. Amazing title. Amazing intro. Everybody's laughing. Everybody's happy. The only people that aren't happy are the people that don't have sense of humor. Which doesn't matter anyways. That'd be poggers, ladies and gentlemen. But I blew it. Unless I unlock the drone on my free-to-play account.
The crane key is probably as obtainable as the ATV part of the gas station. I have gotten the crane key once or twice. DIY helicopter, yes indeed. You can still do it on the free-to-play. Yep. I have no idea what's going on right now, ladies and gentlemen. My brain is not braining. I want new updates. I don't even know what what was this live stream. What we've accomplished in this live stream, right? The title said that Last of Earth is the best survive mobile survival game, question mark. And I've spent the entire live stream uh, maybe not complaining. I don't like the word complaining. Providing facts about why LDE sucks, kinda. And I gave some some solutions about what they should do for it not to suck. Genius. The live stream accomplished everything. So, ladies and gentlemen, now let's try to sort out this inventory. It's like, what do you think about bosses that have a lot of stun attacks like Miner? In my opinion, they are really annoying to fight against, says Dorian. Absolutely agreed. It's annoying that the only strategy is to wall trick them. It's it's cool that we can wall trick them. However, I don't think that should be the only strat. There should be more strats. Yeah, that's about it. Um, um where do I store the the loot? Excuse me, sir. No, that's not here. I'm an idiot. Total donut. This is this goes here. And let's drop the drill here. We have a lot of these drills. And yet titanium is useless. Why did they add titanium that doesn't do anything in the game? The last time they added something amazing, just guys, think about it. They've added the ATV and Bunker Charlie, right? Which was cool, I guess. But ATV does nothing. Bunker Charlie does nothing. They've added the boat. It does nothing. All those things do nothing. Why add those things? It's insane. Like, my, my, my brain doesn't brain. I can't comprehend that. Why add titanium that doesn't do anything? Why release the ATV that the only thing that's useful is... Are the ash blanks, right? Kinda ash blanks. Like, you need an insane amount of storage already for those ash blanks to be useful. They added the sulfur that is useless. You can craft gunpowder, it's useless. Why do we have those things? Why do they do those things? I have no idea. The drone does more than those things. Yeah. The drone might not be that amazing, but at least the drone lets you scan the boxes and the drone unlocks the transport hub. So I look at the drone as the key to the transport hub. So at least the drone... The transport hub was a W update. I liked the ATV update because it was... It had a lot of hype around it. Bunker Bravo is a fun location to loot. But like, it's useless. In any case, ladies and gentlemen, it is what it is. It's last day on Earth after all. How can I criticize this game? It's it's a game made by gods for gods. And if I don't like the game, maybe I'm not a god. So, ladies and gentlemen, thanks for being here. And 78% uh, of you voted that last day on Earth is the best mobile survival game. And 20... 2% of you said that. No, I think you can see the poll of results here. Bog. So, ladies and gents, thanks for being here. See you tomorrow with another video. It'll be Project Zomboid. So, if you haven't checked out Project Zomboid videos yet, make sure to check them out. And see you tomorrow. Shout out to all of you. Take care, everybody. Thanks, Insane, for checking the chat. Thank you guys for chatting. And, uh, yeah, peace out, everybody. Take care. Shout out to all of you. And have a nice...
Sunday. Yeah. Take care, everybody.